Researchers here in Jacksonville are testing a potential new treatment for obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD, and they're asking patients to enroll in a study to test a new drug. Joining us to discuss the study and to help us really better understand OCD is Mike Vader, who has the condition, and clinical psychologist Dr. Jeffrey Rommel of Jacksonville Clinical Research. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Do appreciate it. Doctor, let me start with you if I could. Could you sure. explain to our viewer, you know, what OCD is? Um, because some people may feel like maybe they have the condition but don't realize that that's not necessarily what it is. Sure. Um, so OCD uh, is a chronic psychiatric condition. Um, this really has two main parts to it. On the one hand, there's the obsessions, and these are recurrent, unwanted, distressing thoughts. Um, they can be about things being clean, unclean, things being, um, you know, um, they're like germs, um, orderliness, things being undone. And these thoughts kind of haunt the person maybe all day for, you know, and they interfere with their um, relationships, with their job, with their um, uh, family life. Um, and then on the other side are the compulsions. And the compulsions are the behaviors that the person is kind of feels driven to perform because of the obsessions. And so that's that, you know, like the hand washing or the checking the light switches or checking the stove. Um, and again, it's the degree of it, I think, where it starts to draw the line of, you know, like everybody double checks their door at night, maybe before they go to bed. But when you're starting to spend maybe hours a day and it's preventing you from going to work and it's, you know, impacting your relationships, where we start to kind of draw the line to OCD. It might be then the, the, the signal then to yourself that it's time to speak to someone and maybe get some help. Yeah. Let me bring Mike into this conversation then. Um, thank you, because you're here to share your story about yeah. uh, this disorder or this condition, mm -hmm. I should say. Yeah. How has it affected you? Well, so I was, um, in hindsight, my symptoms started showing up when I was very little, three or four years old, but um, I wasn't diagnosed until I was in my late 30s, 36 years old, and I was first misdiagnosed with bipolar disorder, which is not uncommon. A lot of therapists think that it's something else before they go to OCD. Um, with me, um, it manifests as intrusive thoughts, as Dr. Rommel said, but um, a lot of it is um, skin picking. I'll pick up my nails I'll, until they bleed. I'll chew the inside of my lip. I don't do a lot of the like lock checking and making sure the stove is off kind of thing. I do counting. Um, I do a lot of, uh, well, for example, one that I'm dealing with at this moment is um, I've lost a pair of shoes and I don't know where they are. I know I had them on last night. I know I wore them into the house. I can't find them. I have no idea where they are. And I'm thinking about that in the back of my mind. And to deal with it, I'm picking up my cuticles right now because it's like it, Although it's hurting me physically, it calms my brain. Yeah, so there's this new treatment that's available, and yeah. I want to talk to the doctor about the clinical sure. study in just a minute. But first, Mike, have you had trouble finding treatment? I mean, what, what are your thoughts on this, this new drug that may help? I think any treatments that, that work for the individual, and every individual is different, but any treatments that work are a good thing. You know, it, even, um, you know, and I, I don't like to throw the term placebo around because, you know, that's kind of a, a term that people throw around as often as they throw around the term OCD because yeah. it's, you know, it's not always uh, accurate. But if it works for the individual, I applaud it. You know, I've taken things, uh, tr medications, and I've done therapies that work for me that don't work for someone who has the exact same type of OCD that I have. And if it works for them and doesn't work for me, I applaud it. So, doctor, tell us about this study. Uh, so, basically, um, this is a study that targets a different part of the brain than any kind of current treatment that's available. Um, so far, we've used traditional, more antidepressant medications, which, look, which work towards serotonin, and help lots of people um, you know, decrease anxiety, help their mood. Um, but what we found with like, newer neural imaging techniques is that there is this part of the brain uh, the glutaminergic systems and the glutamate, and that's what this medication targets. What we found is people who suffer from OCD have higher levels of glutamate activity, and this medication redu works to reduce that um, level. And I know we've seen some video then of how it works within the brain, I assume. That said, what do you need from the public? Um, so right now, you know, we're very excited about where things, you know, this could lead to, but we need uh, volunteers. We need people who have OCD, who have tried um, traditional treatments and they feel like there's still room for improvement or it's not helping them as much as it could be or maybe not even at all um, to come down to, um, you know, get involved in clinical trials like what we have at CNS Healthcare. Sometimes when people hear this, they're like, are you going to do all these probes and tests on me? Anything you could say to allay their concerns about that? Sure. Um, well, this medication is actually pretty far along in its life. Um, it's gone through lots of safety testing already. By the time we get to it, 
We're just interested in, does it work? Um, lots of people have tried it before. It's been, um, at this point, we're looking at what we call efficacy, um, or does it work? And so we're excited about that. Thank you both for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you for sharing your story. I know that it helps people who are watching. Anyone interested in the study can visit ocdtrial.org or you can call 855-945-0867. We will post this later this morning on newsforjacks.com. You probably also have questions about any potential side effects. All of those can be answered by calling that number or, of course, going to the website.